Get ready to enter the Thrive Time Show. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, and we'll show you how to get here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Now we're on the top, teaching you the systems to get what we got. Colin Dixon's on the hooks, I break down the books. Z's bringing some wisdom and the good looks. As the father of five, that's why I'm a dive. So if you see my wife and kids, please tell them hi. It's a C and Z up on your radio. And now three, two, one, here we go. We started from the bottom, now we here. All right, Thrive Nation, welcome back to the Inspiration Conversation, where we talk about how to start and grow a business. It's the Thrive Time Show on your drive time home. You see, many of you right now, you're in your vehicle. It's a Tuesday, and you're, you're driving home, and you're going, yes, the political fatigue has set in. <laughs> I am 100% aware of how I'm voting, how I'm not. I mean, I guess I'll sneak peek a little, you know, secret little scandal that just came out about one of the candidates, but really, I am ready to be done with the politics because I kind of want to sneak just one more scandalous video. But the thing is, I'm, I know how I'm going to vote and I'm looking for uh, uh, really some practical training. I'm looking for how to start or grow a business. I'm looking for that knowledge that you just, that practical stuff. And so we're talking today about the five principles for learning how to get your team to get things done. And as always, we are, we're always here joined with a, a, a variety of awesome people. But today we have a co-host with the Mo Oast, Miss Sharita Bent. How are you? I'm wonderful. And we have my wonderful wife, a.k.a. the Truth Cannon. <laughs> the Truth Cannon. <laughs> my um, new name. Miss Vanessa Clark. How are you, Bird? Great. Thank you. Her real nickname is Bird, just so we're clear. Bird. <laughs> Bird. Bird is the word. Okay, so we're talking about this, this first principle, which is it's going to be hard. And we were talking about how, one, you have to have a mystery shopper, because when you have a mystery Mystery shopper that you you pay that person to come in and give you candid feedback about the products and services. You literally want to hire. You mean I have to hire somebody who buys my products? Yes. Because when you do it, they will give you real feedback. And I'm gonna tell you what: if you don't pay the person to give you real feedback, let's role play. Here's a situation. So Sharita, uh, Vanessa, and I are going out to dinner with you and your husband. Sure. So he's not here, which is, makes it kind of a weird analogy. Yeah. But, but the, the other three of us, he's just silent. O'Neill yeah. is not talking. Yeah, he's here. So we go out to dinner, and the waitress walks up, and she goes, "How was the meal tonight?" And I go, "Oh, it was it's, it's good. It was great. It was great." And she goes, really? That's great. I'm glad to hear it. And she, here's your check. So then I get out in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do this. I'm sure you wouldn't, Thrivers. You would never do this. But I would say, oh, my gosh. Wasn't that food terrible? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, wasn't that food terrible? Vanessa, wasn't that terrible? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. It was bad. I mean, it was like, I mean, are you kidding me? That steak was like rubber. Oh, no. You know? <laughs> and then Sharita, and Sharita's like, hey, maybe you should have told him if you weren't happy, because she's the honest person. But yeah, I'm like, I tell him. no, I'm not telling him. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to talk about it now. Yeah. And then now, you're not coming back either. Here's checking out. I'm mm -hmm. going to get on my cell phone, because I'm a high quality human. I'm going to let people know. Hotline bling. I'm going to let them know. I'm on my cell phone. I'm on my smartphone, which allows me to be dumb. But I'm on my smartphone, <laughs> and I'm on there. I'm going to write a bad Google review, because they deserve to know. Yeah. Pete, the consumer needs to know. Now, meanwhile, the business owner is oblivious to the negative feedback until they check out their Google reviews, their Yelp reviews, their whatever reviews. And they can't fix it because they don't know. Mm -hmm. They don't know who it is. And it's, by, by the way, it's like Rodney47 at AOL.com. Does someone still use an AOL account? He does. Rodney47. And people are really bold when there's no accountability. Sure. When you can write a comment and no one knows who you are. Mm. Oh, don't get me started. But you all of a sudden, you're going, hey... I might have, the waitress asked you directly. Yeah. She says, is everything all right? Yeah. But you, not you, not, not the listeners to this show. Yeah. I'll tell you what, if you're listening to the other station, you're one of the kind of people that would definitely, <laughs> but this station, we have the best listeners in right. the world. There's no way that you would do this, but other people would. And what happens is then you're out there talking bad about the business, but the waitress asked you directly, are you okay with the food? And you go, oh, it's, it's awesome. It's so good. Yeah, it is good. When they leave, you're going, are you kidding me? This service is terrible. <laughs> Now, I real talk, though, as a human, I'm pretty real. So yeah. I took my son out to this uh, steak business, which was 105th and Memorial. And it's okay to trash them now because they're out of business. <gasps> yeah. Mm. But I took my son in there, and they went out of business. Mm. And I don't know if you, Vanessa, I don't know if you remember that, but I took Aubrey out to dinner. Yeah. And we go there, and we waited for like 10 minutes before we were greeted. Mm. Then the guy says, I'm so sorry about the delay. Mm -hmm. Let me get you set up. We sit down at the table and we wait for another 
like 10 minutes. Oh, no. Amazing. So my Ugh. son is, at the th- time, Aubrey White, well, you know, maybe seven, six years old. He's like, this is a bad place, Dad. This is a bad <laughs> place. So the waiter goes, how's everything going? And my son's like, we've been here a long time. Good job, Aubrey. Good but job. But the kids don't have a filter yet. Yeah, good job, yeah. though. But he told the truth. And also, he knows. I mean, he's hyper aware of businesses just because of the family that our kids are raised in about, you know, what is a good business, how you treat your uh, employees, what is good service. So he's yeah. taking it all in. We get into the car and Aubrey's like, Dad, I would never go back there. Mm. It is bad. Good and so for him. Grandma, so I was like, so you guys had a little mandate. How was it? You know, how was the mandate? How was yeah. it? And Aubrey's like, it was terrible. It was 105th and Memorial. It was a steak place. It was on the right side of the road. It, it was, and he's just bringing that truth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So all I'm saying is you want to hire a mystery shopper. The second is you want to do merit-based pay. Now, someone says, you mean paying people based on what they do and not what they said they're going to do? That sounds terrible. You know, so examples, I'm going to give you a list of companies that do this. Quick Trip. I love that gas station. Do you think the folks, uh, we'll call it the other companies. The other, if you've ever been to the bathroom, Vanessa, have you ever been to the bathroom at the other gas stations where you're like, I will risk a bladder infection? Yeah, we just don't do it. We don't, the kids won't do it. I don't do it. We don't do it. Same, same. I won't do it. How about as a lady, when you go to Oklahoma City, Mm -hmm. do you get fearful that you might have to go to the bathroom? Well, you mean like for the gas station? Because yeah. they don't have QT. Yeah. I'm just looking for quick trip, and then that's yep. that's my goal. See, Oklahoma City, there's women who are not using the restroom at all in quick trip. They're getting <laughs> bladder infections. It's a quality door of door to door. But the thing is, do you think the other the other gas stations are saying our goal is to have dirty restrooms? No, their owner wants to have good restrooms, but they mm. don't. Why? Because they pay their people whether they do a good job or not. But at quick trip, they have merit based pay. They have mystery shoppers, meaning they pay their people based on results. So a mystery shopper comes in. If the survey says, good news, hey, you did a good job, they get a bonus. If not, they don't. That's how it works. The third is relentless follow-up. Shrita, you manage people in my office, in our office. Yes. Why do you have to follow up with some people seven times? Well. Seven times about the same thing. (laughs) Yeah. Seven times, 70 times. Sometimes you have to do it. Um, It's just making sure that it's done. Sometimes people say, oh, yes, I'll do it. Or they even say, I did it. How about search engine? You manage search engine projects. Yes, yes. Out of 10 people, I would say that 10 statements were made this month. I did it. Mm. How many times was it actually done when you verify, that when you follow up, when yeah. you check? One, maybe two. And then I know sometimes it's done, but it's not correct. It's because not correct. Because you have to go in there and you're saying, right. I'm making these corrections or I need to give it to someone else to yeah. correct. Which so, doesn't count. That means it wasn't done. So I'm like, one, maybe two. If you did it. read the book written by uh, Mr. Marriott, okay, he's talking about, the, it's called Something Serve, uh, The Power to Serve. I think it's the Marriott book. The, the power to serve the Marriott hotels. He says in there, don't hear, go see. Mm. So right now, someone needs to hear that, write that down. You need to, don't hear, go see. You need to follow up. Follow up and be truthful. Now, principle number two, homies, Oklahomies, Oklahomies, homies from Oklahoma. You see what we did there, Chep? I took that that Oklahomies group that you were telling me about. <laughs> I've woven it into the show. You're making an impact there. It's principle number two, understand that your ability to effectively execute your daily operations is critical to your success. Now, you might be super motivated. You might be saying, what I want to do is make a trip transformative restaurant that's going to totally change the game because I walked on coals at the Tony Robbins seminar and I'm ready to have a transformative breakthrough. A transformative breakthrough. Everybody, transformative breakthrough. I'm ready to do it. But then at the end of the day, you have to actually execute because Tony Robbins is gone. You're now back away from the four-day exclusive resort. Love it too much. And now you're back in your office and you get paid based on what you do, homie, not based on what you want to do so we're going to teach you when you come back how to actually execute effectively effectively execute you mean actually getting stuff done yeah that's what we're talking about the thrive time show all right thrive nation welcome back to the conversation you're listening to the thrive time show on your drive time home and yes we are talking about the subjects that you want to know more about you see many of you have emailed in you've asked us questions you've said how do I actually get my team to get things done? I'm a, I'm, I own a bakery, I own a photography business, I'm a roofer, I own a fabrication company. I can't get the team, I mean, I can sell well, I can sell things. I have a thing that I make that people 
want, but I just can't get the team to get the stuff done. And so we're teaching you the five principles on this abbreviated Tuesday show. And some of you are saying, how are you qualified to teach us? Well, Dr. Z and I, between Dr. Zellner, he's he's out today expanding his vast entrepreneurial empire. But between he and I, we own many businesses. Uh, if you go to the Elephant in the Room in Tulsa, Oklahoma, that's one of our businesses. It's a men's grooming lounge. If you go to the optometry clinic, that's a uh, business. It's Dr. Zellner and Associates. If you go to the auto auction, you know, uh, Z's going to sell about a thousand cars every Friday. If you go to Epic Photography, it's the largest wedding photography business. If you go, the point is we have a lot of things we're involved in. And the thing is, we want to teach you specifically, not the theory of how we do it, but specifically how we do it. So principle one is it's going to be hard. We talked about that. Principle number two is understand that your ability to effectively execute your daily operations is critical to your success. And Ms. Sharita Bent, our co-host with the most, go ahead and give us a notable quotable, my friend. Yeah, this is from Guy Kawasaki, and he says, ideas are easy, implementation is hard. Can you tell us on who Guy Kawasaki is real quick? Sure, he is a marketing specialist, he's an author, um, he's involved in the Silicon Venture Capitalist Group, he um, was one of the Apple employees who was responsible for marketing um, that Mac, that whole computer line, and he wrote um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, right? Well, this is, well, oh, you, you, that, that would be Robert Kiyosaki. Robert Kiyosaki. That's why I'm here. That's so why I'm here. Oh, so, I was so close. So Kiyosaki, close. very close. But here's the thing. Sorry, Robert. No, it's okay. I'll say this, though. <laughs> um, I will say this because Guy Kawasaki, the Apple computer was a great computer, but he had to be marketed, and he helped mm. to launch that innovative marketing plan. But what he's talking about here is he's saying ideas are easy. It's easy to have the idea to make this great computer that yeah. everyone can use, but to get your team accountable, so much of it is emotional. Mm. And so you have got to get your team to be able to get it done. Now, Steve Case, that's the guy who uh, started AOL. Give us one more notable sure. quotable here from Steve okay, Case. Okay, Steve says, in the end, a vision without the ability to execute it is probably a hallucination. Okay, so Vanessa, you've been married to me for 15 years, yep. my incredible wife of my life, my life coach. She's here. You've seen me uh, go from the dorm room to where we are today. You've yes. seen me. So how hard is has it been to hold people accountable? Maybe from your perspective, what is the biggest switch that I have made in the last five years where I can now hold people accountable maybe the first five years in business I couldn't. I, I think th a, a huge temptation for business owners, especially small business owners, is to get frustrated with the people not performing um, as they should and stepping in and doing it themselves. Oh, I've never done uh, that. <laughs> and you, become, you can quickly become a slave to it and then you can't scale or grow your business and it's the harder thing to do, I think, to find the right people who will do it and to stay on them, to to keep turnover happening until you can get the right person keep trained turnover the right way. Keep happening? Wait keep a second. It you happening. said keep it happening? You've it's, seen me keep it happening? Oh, I've seen you embrace it. And you know what? It changes the business. So you can't just be grasp onto someone and think they're going to take you from A all the way to Z. You're going to have a whole other team by the time you reach your goal. Mm. Now, this is huge That's because um, if you read, um, let's say, the story of Apple, there's a book called Steve Jobs written by Walter Isaacson. It's a great book. If you read uh, Life and Death by Russell Simmons. It's a great book. And what you're going to discover is that nobody, and I repeat, nobody, nobody, nope, nobody. Nobody. <laughs> nobody. Yeah. Nobody. Can love you like me. What does it go? How does it go? How does the chorus? All sure I remember is nobody. Us. That's all I remember. Nobody, baby. Yes, yes, The band yes. keeps playing yes, on. Yes, yes. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, and oh, whoa. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, so the thing is, that nobody is going to be with you from the beginning until the end unless they're married to you mm. or they are loyal. Mm, true. And check it out. Loyalty, that's all I look for. Mm -hmm. So let me give you an example. Somebody says, hey, hey, Jesus, you're awesome. Jesus, you're the man. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. You're the man. No sooner than Jesus, he says, homies, check it out. I'm going to leave you soon. I'm going to be dying. We'll have a last supper. Some of you don't believe the, the, the story, but work with me. He says, we're going to have this last supper. He talks to him. He says, here's what's going to happen. He disappears. He gets, you know, all of a sudden he dies on the cross. No sooner than he's out of the picture. 
picture, these homies are like, I never knew him. <laughs> never knew him at all. I never, I, you know, I've heard of him. Who now. is he? Well, who is he again? Like, the guy you're with all the time, you know, Jesus. Like, um, how do you say that? Jesus, I mean, Jesus? No, I don't know him. And I isn't don't. that all of us? Mm. You know? Mm. I mean, so you, like you said, loyalty is such a huge, huge thing. And to look for that, um, it's better than skill. So here's mm. the deal. I'm saying to you, I'm sort of that ride or die guy. Yeah. Yep. So I'll stay with you. I'm a loyal human. So I don't buy into a lot of people, but Dr. Zellner, I buy into Dr. Zellner. Um, he uh, knew me before I was successful. He's chosen to invest his time in me, uh, his energy. Uh, is he perfect? No. Is he? Is he who is? is you know, he's here's he's the deal. He yeah. is a great guy. Yep. You know what? Some people go, I heard that he's difficult. He actually fired my friend. And I know what kind of people he fires. And I go, well, your friend was probably not a good worker. Mm. And I say it every time. I he could does. just hear what they say and just go, hey, your friend's probably not a good worker. Yeah. I've Keeping it that, real. Just telling the truth. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is that if you're a great owner, if you have a big business, mm -hmm. you, what you have to do is you have to hold people accountable if you have a great business. If you don't have a great business, you don't have to hold people accountable. So check it out. If you're a successful entrepreneur, you're probably not going to fire. We have apparently like the law enforcement community circling the studio here. But if you're a great employer, you're not going to fire your top people. You're going to hold on to your top people. But you know what you're going to do with bottom feeders? You're going to fire them because they're freaking carp. We come back, we're going to teach you principle number four and five. Three, four, and five. Coming back. Welcome back to your inspiration station. This is your mobile dojo of mojo. Some of you, you know, you work at a job where the, the office is kind of a little bit rough. You know, you're, you're owning a business and you're going, what's going on? I started it and now like the, t the employees are telling me what to do. Do. Like they own the business. It's like they set their own hours. They tell me what they want to do. And there's more of them than me. Holy, what happened? I wanted to be self-employed. Now I work for a bunch of terrorists. And if that's you, this show is for you because we're talking to you today about the five principles for learning how to get your team to get things done. We're moving on to principle number three. You must wear multiple hats until the revenue saves you. <laughs> revenue saves you. Shrita, can you read the notable quotable here? I can. Um, this is from Paul Graham, and it says, it is hard to do a really good job on anything you don't think about in the shower. Now, who's Paul Graham? Paul Graham is the co-founder of Y Combinator. What's Y Combinator? I don't even know what that is. He's the guy who started Dropbox. I've heard of that. Is that like a box company? No, it's Dropbox. It's a digital file storage company. There's also Reddit. Maybe you heard of that. Mm -hmm. Maybe Airbnb. Uh, maybe you, you know, the thing is, he, big billion dollar companies. He says, it's really hard to do a really good job on anything that you don't think about in the shower. This is why I, as a founder, am uniquely annoyed by almost everyone. Mm. Because I know what needs to be done and just get out of my way with your committees and your, I don't know, do I get tomorrow off? I just want to get it done. And I get it that you don't have the same passion because you don't own the business and it wouldn't be sane for you to want to work seven days a week if you don't own it or have an upside. So it's unreasonable for you to want to work eight days a week, seven days a week if you don't own it or have an upside. And if I want you to be more invested, then I've got to give you some kind of upside or some kind of vision where you can buy into an upside that'll be better. But so as a founder right now, if you have people that are like, uh, do I get to leave right at five or 458? It's because they don't own it and you're not giving them any kind of upside. If you yeah. want them to be more engaged, you have to give them some upside. And some people say, I don't want to give them any upside because I'm the one putting in all the money. Well, there, here we are. Mm. We're entrepreneurship, okay? So you must wear multiple hats. So. What you do is you wear multiple hats. You're doing the accounting, you're doing the sales, you're doing the marketing, you're doing uh, hiring, firing. But here's the deal. I'm going to give you the three steps, three action steps, going fast on this abbreviated show. Point number one, document what works. If it works, write it down. Apparently, Moses was told, hey, write it on the tablet. And he's going, can I just remember what you said? God? No, write it on the tablet. God, God, you have a very deep voice. Write it on the tablet. You you want to write it down, right? If, it, if you want to remember it, write it down. Well, that doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, why isn't the Constitution an oral document? Because there's a lot of detail in it. Write it down. Point number two, build checklists. 
I don't like doing checklists. Checklists are beneath me. I'm the man. I know everything. Oh, really? Well, you're going to be working all the time at a job that nobody else wants called self-employment. And if you have a self-employed job, it's called just over broke. You work all the time. You don't make any money. Not good. Okay. So the point number three, delegate the repeatable tasks. Once it is repeatable, delegate it. Why? Because you need to move on to making the next repeatable task. I repeat, document what works, build the checklist as you go. Three, delegate repeatable tasks once you've developed systems. Principle number four, Miss Shrita, can you read the notable quotable? I can. This is by Warren Buffett and he says, I try to buy stock in businesses that are so wonderful that an idiot can run them because sooner or later, one will. Well, I think that would be something that I could run then because I'm an idiot and I would love to. Check it out. That's what a franchises right it's so repeatable that so what you're saying is i buy the golden arches and then what i do is if someone wants to get hamburgers i just hit the email and you'll send them to me and they're all the right weight and size and the uniforms they don't have to think about anything <laughs> this is great <laughs> then that's what but the thing is it's not dumb it doesn't make you an idiot because you want to buy a system that's simple it's right. called you're awesome yeah because you're wise. you understand you're wise you mm -hmm. want to go hey somebody already ran through the minefield i would actually prefer to run <laughs> through the minefield and discover where all the mines are so that I know myself. It's easier for me to have run through the mines. I would rather... Well, then you're a sick freak like me who starts your own businesses. Yeah. That's not healthy. <laughs> you can learn from mentors or mistakes, but principle number four, you must simplify to grow. Somebody needs to write this down, okay? Once you nail it, you want to scale it. But check it out. Complexity does not scale. Mm. I don't really know what you're saying. Complexity does not scale. I don't know. You, the thing is, you can't have things that are very complicated. You can't, you know, you just that's why the whole, that's why I, I, I dislike formal education because it's like, what we're going to do is we want you to memorize the periodic table and memorize all these facts that you'll never learn again. And that's the key to success. It's like a game of memory because <laughs> you have a great memory because you're good at memory. You know, you get a degree. Dumb ski. Well, here's the thing when you're going through these, I want people to remember that we told them in principle one that it's going to be hard because yes. all these things you're describing. I want it to be gonna easy, take though. It's I want hard. it to be easy. Is there any way you could wake me up, Miss Sharita? No. Could you call me and remind me when I need to do Negator. my work? But when it is simple, when you get it to that point, mm -hmm. that is when you can effectively delegate. Right. A lot of times we try to delegate in the beginning and it's too complex. It's too hard. And then you're overwhelmed I, that they can't I, get it. So you jump back in. I mm -hmm. can't find good people, though, to work as a contractor it's impossible to find good cake makers. <laughs> Nobody can make a cake like me. Well, the way I make cakes is amazing. Well, I've heard Clay say this. He's taught our whole team this with coaching and mentoring is that there's no business that's going to be so specialized that it cannot follow the proven systems and steps, right? Yeah. Everyone seems to think they are, that they're the exception. You're they're not. the exception. You just don't know my business. You don't know my business. You don't know every... I'm a surgeon and what <laughs> I do is oh, check out Dr. Zellner. He's a doctor, right? He's an optometrist. Check it out. He makes copious amounts of cash while he's not working mm -hmm. go in there and try to see him see a patient just go in there wait all day see yeah. if he sees a patient mm -hmm. if you do call me i'll give you a free high five because it's yeah. not going to happen yeah. now principle number five details are the difference maker i don't care how great your product or, ser or your product or service is no business will survive and flourish without having a detailed and organized operational backbone now check it out i this is something you got to understand. I'm trying to impart this to you, okay? You must have pig-headed diligence. Ms. Sharita, can you read this notable quotable from Chet Holmes, the former business partner of Charlie Munger? Who's Charlie Munger? <laughs> Charlie Munger is the former business partner of Warren Buffett. Go ahead and read the notable quotable, please. Okay, he says, the missing ingredient for nearly all of the 1,000 plus clients I have worked with directly to improve their businesses is pig-headed discipline and determination. Stop. Vanessa, what time did I wake up this morning if you had to speculate? Uh, I set your alarm and you got up at 3. 3 a.m.? You mean 3 a.m.? I didn't know that, that you could actually do that. Is it healthy? 
But the thing is, you have to do it. You just have to do it. Check it out. If you, ever, if, you, if you know somebody who's served in the Army, perhaps you're listening right now, you've served in the military. Thank you, by if the you way. If you have, by the way, Thrive15.com is always free for you. Mm-hmm. You make yep. a free country, so it's always free for you. Thrive15.com, the world's best business school, always free for the military. Mm-hmm. We're, were, were you waking up occasionally before 6 a.m.? Were they like, hey, everybody, is everybody at a good time? Because we're being attacked by the other guys. I just wanted to see, should we tell the Taliban? to attack later when you're... Yeah, I would prefer if they would attack around 9.30 after I've had some eggs. You know, I like to get my eggs in. Okay, well, I'll go tell them. That's great. I mean, no. Life is not like that, homies. Yeah, yeah. You've got to get up. If you don't have time to work on your business, you got to wake up early. Okay? Check it out. you got to wake up early to work on your business. If you're working in your business all the time, then you won't ever have the time, freedom, and financial freedom that you want. You got to work on your business. Or you're a slave to the business. If you can't work on it to get it where it needs to go, you're in it all the time. And before you go ripping the people who made the pyramids, I think we all remember those people. I mean, there was... Okay, the thing is, you don't want to be a slave because you right. probably won't. It's hard to be build that epic lifestyle if you're a slave to the pyramid making. Okay, so you want to, you want to, you know, you want to be the top of the pyramid, right? You want to have some success. So, we, we Sharita, we have built an online school for yeah. people that want to know how to do this. They mm-hmm. go, you had to go so fast. It was so fast today. I wanted it to be a slower show. We've built an online school for them. What's it called? It's called Thrive15.com. And my favorite thing is that I remember when you were talking about building this, and you'll remember this too, Vanessa. He said, this is what I wish that I had yes. when I was starting my businesses. It is the world's best business school. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm going to tell you all the things that they're included. And then I'm also going to throw in some free steak knives tonight. <laughs> no, Cut, <I'm> go. <laughs> Cut. I've got some free steak knives. Now, here we go. One, it includes interactive videos. How many videos? Thousands. Thousands of videos? Yep. It includes downloadables, templates, best practice systems, exclusive access to the Ask Us Anything button. By the way, the, 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 the mentors we have, who's teaching management? Oh, oh, wise wizard, who is teaching management? Well, I'll tell you what. Lee Cockrell, who used to manage Walt Disney World Resorts, he is the one teaching management. Who's teaching your PR classes, huh? That's really great. You could name drop on that one. But who's teaching your PR classes, bro? Bro, who's doing it, bro? Who's teaching? Michael Levine, the PR consultant for Nike. Never heard of it. The PR consultant for Pizza Hut. I've never been there. The PR. The point is, we've got the wizards teaching you what you need to know. You can learn from mentors or mistakes. It's up to you. Thrive15.com, the world's best business school, is there for you. Now, tomorrow, usually after Tuesday, Day, you have Wednesday. It's hump day, typically, in a yeah. typical calendar. Yeah. And so tomorrow's hump day, and we're going to come back tomorrow, and we're going to be teaching you six principles for successful public speaking. Six principles for public for successful public speaking coming up tomorrow. The number of new customers that we've had is up 411% over last year. We are Jared and Jennifer Johnson. We own Platinum Pest and Lawn and are located in Owasso, Oklahoma. And we have been working with Thrive for Business Coaching for almost a year now. Yeah, so, so what we wanna do is we wanna share some wins with you guys uh, that, that we've had by working with Thrive. Um, first of all, um, we're on the top page of Google now, okay? Um, I just wanna let you know what type of accomplishment this is. Our competition, Orkin, Terminex, they're both $1.3 billion companies. They both have two to 3,000 pages of content um, attach their website. So to basically go from uh, virtually non-existent on Google to up on the top page is, is really saying something. Um, but that's come by being uh, diligent to the systems that, that Thrive has, um, by, be, by uh, being consistent and diligent on, on doing podcasts um, and staying on top of those podcasts um, to really help uh, with, with getting up on uh, uh, with their listing and ranking there with Google. And also, we've been um, trying to get Google reviews, you know, asking our customers for reviews. And now we're the highest rated and most reviewed pest and lawn company in the Tulsa area. And that's really helped with our conversion rate. And the number of new customers that we've had is up 411% over last year. Wait, say, say that again. How much are we up? 411%. Okay. So 411% um, we're up with, with our new customers. Amazing. Right. right. So not only do we have more customers calling in, we're able to close those deals at a much higher rate than we were before. Right now, our closing rate is about 85%, and that's largely uh, due to 
Uh, first of all, like our Google reviews that we've gotten people really see that our customers are happy, but also we have a script that we follow. And so when customers call in, they get all the information that they need. Uh, that script has been refined time and time again. Uh, it wasn't a one and done deal. We it was a system that we that we followed with Thrive in, in the refining process, and that has obviously um, the 411 percent shows that 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 system works. Yeah. So here's a big one for you. So last week alone, our booking percentage was 91 percent. We actually booked more deals, more new customers last year than we did the first five months. Or I'm sorry, the first we, we booked more deals last week than we did the first five months of last year from before we we, we worked with Thrive. So again, we booked more deals last week than the first five months of last year. And it's incredible. But, but the reason why we have that success is by implementing uh, the systems that, that Thrive has taught us and, and, and helped us out with. So. Some of those systems that we've implemented are group interviews. That way we've really been able to uh, come up with a really great team. Um, we've created and implemented checklists. That way everything um, gets done and it gets done right. Uh, we, it creates accountability. Uh, we're able to make sure that everything uh, gets done properly, both out in the field and also in our office. Um, and also doing the podcast, like Jared had mentioned, that has really, really contributed to our success. But that, like you said, the diligence and um, consistency and doing those in that system has really, um, really been a, a big blessing in our lives. And also, um, you know, it's really shown that we've gotten the success from following those systems. Yeah. So before working with Thrive, uh, we were basically stuck. Um, really no new growth um, w with our with our business um, and we we're, were in a rut and we so, didn't know oh, sorry. No. the last three years our customer base had pretty much stayed the same we weren't shrinking but we weren't really growing either yeah and so we didn't we didn't really know where to go what to do uh, how to get out of this rut that we're in um, but thrive helped us with that you know they, they implemented those systems that they taught us those systems they taught us the knowledge that we needed um, in order to succeed now it's been a grind absolutely it's been a grind this last year um, but we're but we're getting those fruits uh, from from that hard work and, and the diligent effort that, that we're able to put into it. Um, so again, we were in a rut. Thrive helped us get out of that rut. Um, and uh, and if you're thinking about um, working with, with, with Thrive, quit thinking about it and just do it. Um, do the action, um, and you'll get the results. It, it will take hard work and discipline, um, but but uh, but that's what it's going to take in order to in order to, to really succeed. So and we just want to give a big shout out to Thrive, a big thank you out there to, to Thrive. We wouldn't be where we at, where we're at now um, without their help. Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Moore. I'm a pediatric dentist. Through our new digital marketing plan, we have seen a market increase in the number of new patients that we're seeing every month, year over year. One month, for example, we went from 110 new patients the previous year to over 180 new patients um, in the same month. And overall, our average is running about 40 to 42 percent increase month over month, year over year. The group of people required to implement our new digital marketing plan is immense, starting with a business coach, videographers, photographers, web designers. Back when I graduated dental school in 1985, nobody advertised. The only marketing that was ethically allowed in everybody's eyes was mouth-to-mouth -mouth marketing. By choosing to use the services, you're choosing to use a proof and turnkey marketing and coaching system that will grow your practice and get you the results that you're looking for. I went to the University of Oklahoma College of Dentistry, graduated in 1983, and then I did my pediatric dental residency at Baylor College of Dentistry from 1983 to 1985. Hello, my name is Charles Kolaw with Kolaw Fitness. Uh, today I want to tell you a little bit about Clay Clark and how I know Clay Clark. Clay Clark has been my business coach since 2017. He's helped us grow from two locations to now six locations. We're planning to do seven locations in seven years and then franchise. And Clay has done a great job of helping us navigate anything that has to do with like running the business, building the systems, the checklist, the workflows, the audits, um, how to, how to um, navigate lease agreements, how to uh, buy property, um, how to uh, work with brokers and builders. This guy is just amazing. He's, he's This kind of guy has worked in every single industry. He's written books with like Lee Crockerell, head of Disney with the 40,000 cast members. Um, he's friends with like Mike Lindell. Um, he does Reawaken America tours where he does these tours all across the country where 10,000 or more people show up to some of these tours on the day-to-day. -day, he does anywhere from uh, about 160 companies. He's at the top. He has a team of uh, business coaches, videographers, and graphic designers and web developers, and they run 160 companies every single week. So 
Think of this guy with a team of business coaches running 160 companies. So in the weekly, he's running 160 companies. Um, every six to eight weeks, he's doing Reawaken America tours. Every six to eight weeks, he's also doing business conferences where 200 people show up and he teaches people a 13 step proven system that he's done and worked with billionaires, helping them grow their companies. Um, so he's, I've seen guys from startups go from startup to being multimillionaires, um, teaching people how to get time freedom and financial freedom through the system critical thinking, document creation, um, making it, putting it into, uh, or organizing everything in their head to building into a, a franchisable, scalable business. Like one of his businesses has like 500 franchises. That's just one of the companies or brands that he works with. So amazing guy, Elon Musk kind, kind of like smart guy. Um, he kind of comes off sometimes as socially awkward, but he's so brilliant and he's taught me so much. When I say that, like, I, I, Clay is like, he doesn't care what people think when you're talking to him. He cares about where you're going in your life and where he can get you to go. Um, and, and that's what I like him most about him. He's like, he's like a, a good coach. A coach isn't just making you feel good all the time. A coach is actually helping you get to the best you. And Clay has been an amazing business coach. Through the course of that, we became friends. Um, my, I was really most impressed with him is when I was shadowing him one time. Um, we went into a business deal and listened to it. I, I got to shadow and listen to it. And when we walked out, I knew that he could make millions on the deal. And they were super excited about working with him. And he told me, he's like, I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to turn it down um, because he knew it was going to harm the common good of people in the long run. And uh, the guy's integrity um, just really wowed me. Uh, it brought tears to my eyes to see that this guy, his, he doesn't, his highest desire was to do what's right. And um, uh, anyways, just, just, just an amazing man. So anyways, impacted me a lot. Um, he's helped navigate. Uh, anytime I've got nervous or worried about uh, how to run the company or, uh, you know, navigating competition and, 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 and an economy that's like, I remember we got closed down for three months. He helped us navigate on how to stay open, how to, how to get back open, how to um, uh, just survive through all the COVID shutdowns, lockdowns. I'm Rachel with Tip Top Canine and we just wanna give a huge thank you to Clay and Vanessa Clark. Hey guys, I'm Ryan with Tip Top Canine. Just wanna say a big thank you to Thrive 15. Thank you to Make Your Life Epic. We love you guys, we appreciate you and really just appreciate how far you've taken us. This is our old house, right? This is where we used to live a few years ago. This is our old neighborhood. See, it's uh, nice, right? So this is my old van and our old school marketing. And this is our old team. And by team, I mean it's me and another guy. This is our new house with our new neighborhood. This is our new van with our new marketing, and this is our new team. We went from four to 14, and I took this beautiful photo. We worked with several different business coaches in the past, and they were all about helping Ryan sell better and um, just teaching sales, which is awesome, but Ryan is a really great salesman, so we didn't need that. We needed somebody to help us get everything that was in his head out into systems, into manuals and scripts, and actually build a team. So now that we have systems in place, we've gone from one to 10 locations in only a year. In October 2016, we grossed 13 grand for the whole month. Uh, right now it's 2018, the month of October. It's only the 22nd. We've already grossed a little over 50 grand for the whole month, and we still have time to go. We're just thankful for you, thankful for Thrive and your mentorship, and we're really thankful that you guys have helped us to grow a business that we run now instead of the business running us. Just thank you, thank you, thank you times a thousand. Whoa. The Thrive Time Show two-day interactive business workshops are the world's highest rated and most reviewed business workshops because we teach you what you need to know to grow. You can learn the proven 13-point uh, business systems that Dr. Zellner and I have used over and over to start and grow successful companies. I mean, we get into the specifics, the specific steps on what you need to do to optimize your website. We're going to teach you how to fix your conversion rate. Uh, we're going to teach you how to do a social media marketing campaign that works. How do you raise capital? How do you get a small business loan? We teach you everything you need to know here during a two-day, 15-hour workshop. It's all here for you. You work every day in your business, but for two days you can escape and work on your business and build these proven systems so now you can have a successful company that will produce both the time freedom and the financial freedom that you deserve. You're going to leave energized, motivated, but you're also going to leave empowered. 
The reason why I've built these workshops is because as an entrepreneur, I always wish that I had this. And because there wasn't anything like this, I would go to these motivational seminars, no money down, real estate, Ponzi scheme, get motivated seminars, and they would never teach me anything. It was like you went there and you paid for the, the big chocolate Easter bunny, but inside of it, it was a hollow nothingness. And I wanted the knowledge, and they're like, oh, but we'll teach you the knowledge after our next workshop. And the great thing is we, we have nothing to upsell. At every workshop, we teach you what you need to know. There's no one in the back of the room trying to sell you some next big uh, get rich quick, walk on hot coals uh, product. It's literally, we teach you the brass tacks, the specific stuff that you need to know to learn how to start and grow a business. And I encourage you to not believe what I'm saying. And I want you to Google uh, the Z66 auto auction. I want you to Google elephant in the room. Look at Robert Zellner and Associates. Look them up and say, are they successful because they're geniuses? Or are they successful because they have a proven system? When you do that research, you will discover that the same system that we use in our own business can be used in your business. Come to Tulsa, book a ticket, and I guarantee you it's going to be the best business workshop ever. And we'll even give you your money back if you don't love it. We've built this facility for you, and we're excited to see you. Now you may be thinking, what does it actually cost to attend an in-person two-day interactive Thrive Time Show business workshop? Well, good news. The tickets are $250 or whatever price that you can afford. What? Yes, they're $250 or whatever price you can afford. I grew up without money, and I know what it's like to live without money. So if you're out there today and you want to attend our in-person two-day interactive business workshop, all you got to do is go to thrivetimeshow.com to request those tickets. And if you can't afford $250, we have scholarship pricing available to make it affordable for you.